Good morning, honorable members. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, Chair. Uh, I think we are now ready to, to start the meeting. Let me welcome you all to this uh, portfolio committee meeting. And then without any further waste of time, let me check with Maspole if there are any apologies for today's meeting. Yes, thank you, Chair. Good morning, good morning honorable members. The apology that we received is an apology from Dr. Kreiber. Uh, we also received an apology from uh, Honorable Mutepe, who will be leaving uh, the meeting after 10. That's the only uh, apology that I have got, Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Mastol. I think those apologies are in order. Honorable members, the, let me <clears throat> outline the agenda so that we... I've seen that Mastole has, has, has tried to flight it. Uh, we are done with the apologies. Then on item number three will be the consideration of the previous minutes. And then item four, committee deliberation on the ease of doing business bill. Item five, motion of desirability of that bill. Item six, announcement and then adjournments. Mastole, can you take us through the, the minutes of the previous meeting? Uh, okay, Chairperson, thank you so much, uh, Chair. Uh, I can, can you see the, the, the minutes of the 2nd of June, Chair? I can see that. Yes, Chair. I'm on page one, Chairperson. Uh, this uh, this was when the start of 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 when we started with the bill chair, where we requested uh, 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 Mr. Kruger uh, and the president to, to come through Chairperson uh, to yes. present uh, on the bill Chairperson. So I'm on page one chair. Uh, All this right. minute, then last week uh, Chairperson last week Friday to the members, and I assume that they have actually just gone through them. Uh, okay. That's page one chair. I'm on page two. Uh, right. Uh, that's page three, Chairperson. Mm. Page four. That's page five, Chair. Uh, that's the last page, which is page six, Chairperson. Okay. Can I get an indication from members if there are any corrections they want to make on the minutes? No corrections, Chairperson. No corrections. No, Chair. Can I get a mover to for adoption of this, this set of minutes? Kibi, Chair. Uh, Honorable Kibi is proposing the adoption of the minutes. Any second to Honorable Kibi? Duly, Chair, I move for the to second uh, Honorable Kibi for the adoption of the minutes. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Duly. Therefore, the, the minutes are adopted. Can I now? <clears throat> okay, Chair. <clears throat> I'm going to the second set of minutes. Oh, there are two. Okay. <laughs> sorry for that. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am just uh, trying to load them, Chairperson. Oh, yes. Uh, these minutes are the minutes of the 23rd of June, Chairperson. That is when we invited the those that supported the bill, uh, the submissions from uh, uh, um, of the bill. Uh, I'm on page one. 
which is uh, a tendency. That's page two. Uh, then I'm on page three, child. I'm on page four. That's the last page, Shepherdson. Oh, Master Ole, can I get uh, an indication if there are any corrections to make on the minutes? Honorable Chair. Yes, Honorable Kibi. Honorable Chair, I don't see any corrections and I move for the adoption of these minutes. I thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Honorable Kibi. Any seconder to Honorable Kibi? Morning, morning, Chair. Morning, morning, uh, Honorable Malomani. Thank you, Chair. I second, Chair. Thank you. The, the minutes are therefore adopted by, by, the, mini, by the meeting. Now we, we go to item four, committee deliberations on the ease of doing business bill. Can I invite... Um, Honorable Lesom. Honorable Lesom, are you in the meeting? Yes, Honorable Chair, I am. Good morning, colleagues, and uh, good morning, Honorable Chair, and thank you very much. Let me just first apologize that I was trying to log in on my iPad and I had a problem with the connectivity, so I reconnected with my phone. Uh, Chair, uh, as um, Probably let's also take uh, counsel from that we have uh, adopted the minutes, which then means that the matter is still fresh in our minds. But Chair, let me declare and ask your permission that uh, I will be slightly longer because uh, the, the first set of minutes that we adopted did, did indicate that the committee agreed that they would take the, 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 the suggested or the proposed bill to their political parties, which then I, I, I will be doing, giving account of that process, but also talking mainly to the bill and the sequence of events as it were. So I'm declaring chair and I hope my colleagues will be patient with me on that aspect. Chair. Uh, we, we have, as, as, the, as the minute indicated, uh, received the Honorable uh, Kruger's bill. Uh, however, I would not necessarily, because it's a DA, to say it's a DA policy position on small business or private sector to totally self-regulate itself, uh, but using government infrastructure as the, uh, 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 the bills uh, seek to suggest. We have done what uh, from, it is our view as the ANC that we as the study group, because ANC has deployed us on, on its behalf. So we didn't take it to the political party. We took it to ourselves that we represent the ANC in this, put, in this portfolio committee that uh, we, 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 we satisfied ourselves that we have done what uh, the bill's office and the speaker's office would have expected us in parliament to do in terms of ensuring that we give the necessary uh, uh, attention it deserves before reaching to any determination and, and we should be also be seen applied, having applied our minds and being transparent and fair. And uh, I, I, I will just summarize say that we held more than three meetings just for record purposes, I'm raising that. We have, re we have, we have done, we have received the written submission of the, pre of the bill we have read the bill, we have listened to the oral submission of the sponsor of the bill, received the written submissions and oral submissions from stakeholders, uh, which uh, uh, Honorable Kruger said he, he, those are the, some of the stakeholders that he had done a public uh, participation process uh, to make sure that the bill also captures other stakeholders, concerned stakeholders as it were. And we also chair afforded the presidency, which is charged with the task that the bill tries to seeks to, to advance the presidency. And uh, 
And also you have through the committee allowed us as the various study groups for the purpose of the ANC, I'll use the study group to engage on the suggested bill. And we are indeed, we did do that, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members. Uh, but uh, Chair, I'll start by saying one, which is then uh, my, my main substantive issue, that the bill, we are very much aware that it's, it's tagged as section, 20, se section 75, which was published and gazetted uh, in March. Uh, uh, but also what is important, Chair, before I even go to our proposal, what we think the bill, what will ha should happen to the bill is that the object of the bill, I will just cite few, not limited, but also which are from where we're standing that are, 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 are important for our contribution. One or A is that the bill seeks to create a capacity in government to measure, control, and reduce social economical impact of a regulatory measures. Secondly, ensure that the, the due consideration of multiple options by organs of state to achieve the objectives of the government policy. The third one, to measure the impact of re regulatory measure, especially red tape contained in the regulatory measures on business to create a friendly environment for business in the Republic. So I'm just keeping some of the object of the bill. Uh, bill seeks to get a political buy-in, which was said even verbally in the presentation by the sponsor of the bill. Bill seeks to get a political buy-in so that all small, medium, and micro enterprises overcome the binding of systematic constraints for business people to operate in a business-friendly environment. The bill further seeks uh, honorable chair to create a, a that's part of the of the object of the bill to create a regulatory impact assessment unit, which is, uh, uh, I'll use it as I R I A in the presidency's office responsible for measuring and reducing red tape and costs associated with the red tape. It goes on. Um, the bill, uh, 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 Honorable Chair, will be applicable for all three spheres of government, even though it, seeks, it, it, it is tagged as Section 75, but the Constitution spells it out very clearly, the difference between Section uh, 74 or 76 bill. Uh, I won't go to that. But for, for, for us, Chair, the fundamental question which we, we, we are still battling even today, which uh, uh, probably during our discussion will be responded to or clarified to, uh, which is the really uh, uh, appropriate uh, portfolio committee that this, this bill was supposed to go. Or oh, probably I'll, I'll say that we, we, we got comfort, honorable chair and members that 99% uh, uh, of the bill speaks to small business I understand, though, why the bill office, bill's office, through the speaker's office, directed the bill to us. I will tell you why now, Chair. One is because the Small Business uh, uh, Portfolio Committee in the Fifth Parliament did reject the bill. In this term, it has been slightly ticked or tweaked a bit and adding, in particular, which is very explicit, is to its B in terms of its object to ensure the due consideration of multiple op options by organs of state to achieve the objects, objectives of government policy. That's the one that is very explicit, but there are other areas that in terms of the, 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 the sequence of event in terms of the writings, English legal writing of the bill. Our portfolio committee, honorable chair and honorable members, then it, 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 it says by not even confusing that it is a relevant uh, portfolio committee that monitor, evaluate all departments through the impact uh, monitoring performance assessment tool, other than uh, uh, what the presidency does, but also other than the other departments they do, like which is limited, like for an example, the SCOPA, SCOPA deals with the issues or activities that was, but we are, we are expected through the DPME to deal with the current issues and also quarterly receive the impact results. 
and uh, that's what we do to ensure that we do a robust and active oversight, but also to ensure and monitor the ach uh, achievement towards achieving the 2030 goals and NDP uh, implementations or programmatization of the NDP as, as it is in the fifth in the sixth parliament. Uh, Honorable Chair, may I then proceed to also to borrow from what the presidency I've, I've dealt with the object of the bill. Now I'm dealing with the presidency, which is, is, is charged or is mandated to deal with this matter. As we speak, they do have a unit. It's currently, as we speak, uh, uh, Honorable Chair, is that a social economic impact assessment unit in the presidency is there. And that is why we're able to invite them to clarify their roles and responsibility in avoiding to promote to promote duplication in government with what is of doing government uh, business bill seeks to achieve. The social economic impact assessment uh, unit is responsible for that and it is there. It does analyze broader social, so, social economic challenges associated cost and risk and develop mitigating actions to ensure alignment with the NDP by taking the consideration of how policy proposal impact on and relate to transformation and inclusive economic growth. I've, we have tend to summarize what the presidency in terms of their roles and responsibilities and what they get paid to do, which it, it covers that. Uh, I would not repeat what the object of the bill, but if, if, if you can see honorable chair that there is a duplication of some sort. The unit further seeks to understand regulation that impacts negatively or positively on the so society, including laws that favor big business and negatively impact on the SMEs, the rich versus the poor, thus perpetuating exclu exclusion. Uh, and that's what was presented to us, uh, Honorable Chair. I'm not taking from nowhere, but I've used my own, uh, our own English here to ensure that it captures our thoughts as well. Allow me, uh, uh, Honorable Chair, in the presentation, it further was uh, made that this PC through us, we invited uh, 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 um, invited as, packed, uh, as political parties to make suggestions or made amendments or to, to say before, after, probably we have upset, uh, accepted or rejected the bill. I have been reached that stage. But uh, I would like to make the following remarks in terms of the bill, uh, talking to the institutional arrangement. The bill establishes a new department, Honorable Chair, which is a duplication from where we are seated based on the information was presented by the presidents of the existing SEIA unit. The bill encroaches on the mandate of other departments. We are small business devel uh, development, we are trade and industry and competition. Operation Vulindlele is already addressing structural economic reforms. Fourthly, the bill does not consider separation of powers between the parliament and the executive. It, 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 it tries to, it, it lumps it together. Fifthly, Chair and honorable members, the bill does not consider a holistic approach to red tape reduction, uh, reduction such as provinces and municipalities functions as it takes as section 75 one would have thought that the bill will talk to that. The suggested bill, Chair and Honorable Members, takes away, which is very fundamental, takes away current responsibility of uh, impact assessment from department, which is DPME, uh, the, 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 the unit, which is SEIAS reports, are assessed and quarterly assured by the, by the unit in the presidents. It says there must be a new unit, but it doesn't say what will happen to this existing unit. Does not take to due consideration of special inequalities on business and other social economical factors. It further does not speak to how and it ensures to evaluate and have a strategic such as how has the red tape reduction contributed to business in creating additional jobs and uh, contributing in economic uh, growth probably to be fair to the, to the sponsor of the bill, uh, he might envisage that after we've agreed or uh, accepted the bill, 
one of the other activities that we should engage on is that exercise, I'm not too sure, but it, we're not advised. I'm just thinking aloud here. However, Chair, to be fair and also to say that we can't take it away that we've got to applaud Honorable Kruger for initiating and tabling the private members bill in the National Assembly. We further also would like to commend the organizations that participated or stakeholders in the process of making deliberations on the bill to ensure that the Honorable Bills, the uh, uh, Honorable Kruger's bill does see the light of the day and effort demonstrated by his passion for the upliftment of the small, medium and micro business in our country. And also to deal with the red tape, um, suggested red tape among challenges impending, impending the development of the SME and economic growth as it were. However, Honorable Chair, I'm almost done, Chair. I'm dealing now with the actual essence of our direction that we are going to suggest at the end. We were quite disappointed that the presenters, including the bill sponsor, deliberately opted to ignore fundamental questions as far as we're concerned. One, about a proposal of establishing yet another regulatory impact assessment unit in the office of the president aimed at measuring and reducing red tape and the costs associated with the red tape when conducting business in the public, in the Republic. Currently, the Office of the Presidents, which I've said it above, does do this. Similar functions that the bill seeks to achieve. The bill mm -hmm. encroaches on, on the mandate of the, of the SEIAS and National Treasury Trade and Industry and Small Business. I've made those references above, uh, 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 Honorable Chair, with reasons. Uh, and, and thirdly, Chair, it established the new regulatory impact unit, goes, which goes against the spirit of reducing the wage bill in the government. There are financial implications on the implementation of this bill, which will add more pressure to uh, financial resource, constraints financial resources of, this, of, of government and the state, and the priority of our country is to fight and elevate poverty, but also the immediate one is to fight against the Conorola virus that is attacking the world in our country and saving lives through the vaccination and livelihood of through that. Uh, and then wonders and argues that are we going to establish another unit that will then take the depleted um, fiscal uh, uh, strength and directed to establish another administrative vehicle, which is already in existence, by the way. Fourth literature, the rationale for directing the ease of, of doing business to this portfolio committee was questioned. Since the bill and its entirety seeks to address red tape in hindering the small business and micro enterprises, there is a relevant department and a relevant committee direct if you opt not for small business, you can go to trade, trade and industry. However, the rationale is understood because the Ministry for Planning, which I said above, but nevertheless, it should have gone to the principal committee that is. But we are not blaming the sponsor, by the way, on this one, Chair. We are saying the base office probably, if we are there to advise, would have said, uh, no, 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 directed to the relevant uh, uh, portfolio committee. However, because it was directed to us, by the speaker, we should respect that and be seen also having applied our minds. Hence, today's meeting, we're doing exactly that. The very last very important point here, the, the, the bell six also, is, and it's, it creates a, a, a perceived booking next th that it creates, unfortunately. We should, and we have been saying that it should be avoided by parliament, especially this portfolio committee. Therefore, honorable chair and members, we're, we're not really responding to, but we're talking to the bill in terms of the logic and 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 and, 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 and its spirit to make sure that uh, we we have. But also, chair, uh, we have uh, taken trouble to go to the constitution. If you go to chapter three of the constitution under corporate government, uh, it, there is an important part that I, I, I would like to, to just to read aloud without going to all the clauses in terms of chapter three, section 40. I will just read one and leave the others. 
in the Republic government is constituted as national, provincial, and local government spheres of government, which are distinct, interdependent, and interrelated. Why I'm reading that chair, the bill doesn't talk, it's, it's tagged as section 75. Recording when, in progress. When, when, when the sponsor of the bill was talking to it, he never make reference to that as to probably he made an assumption that it will go to the National Council of Provinces. But I, I, I thought as a sponsor, you should have talked, spoke to that and say what will happen to that. Are there any other bills that also in municipalities or it, at a provincial level that also informed by the National uh, uh, Act to ease business with government that a uh, local government has gone in an extra mile to deal with that one. However, I'll leave that one for, for members probably if they want to go to that space. But I'm saying that section is very fundamental from one to three and four uh, sub clauses of that section. But also if we go back, go further chair, uh, in terms of section 44.1, the national uh, 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 legislation which we all know that is vested in parliament. However, of which the sponsor did not make reference to, or of course he was not obliged uh, and I respect that, uh, but I found it or we found it as the AC very strange, not sure why others may not be, find it very strange that no mention of other spheres of government and how uh, having done that thorough work and research and all the work and also with consulted the stakeholders, but there was no mention of other spheres of government. And the reason I known to, to the sponsor of the bill, and uh, uh, I, I'm sure. With all what I've said, Honorable Chair and members, I would like, uh, I will put before the committee that the ANC moves that the committee declares the end of the road for this uh, member's bill and do we reject and not accept the bill. However, once members are encouraged, we, uh, we, we are encouraged to produce and, and sponsor bills with honesty, transparency, and direct bills to relevant, uh, relevant uh, po uh, po uh, portfolio committees, not to do a finder finder approach. It seems this bill has done because he never made reference that the bill was tabled before parliament in the fifth parliament which was going to, that's an issue of transparency and honesty that I'm talking to. But I'm not accusing him, but I said probably he might not be serving at that committee at the time. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I, I, I'm saying it will have to direct the bill uh, to the relevant uh, co uh, committee, uh, even notwithstanding that the speaker's office through the bill's uh, uh, office would have sent it to our committee. We would have probably have a joint uh, committee with a small business portfolio committee just to make sure that also we, we, we do our part in justice to instead of uh, just directly allowing the bill to come here. But we have done what we're supposed to do with, by parliament. And I therefore chair, would like to move that the, uh, the portfolio committee rejects the bill informed by the contributions that I advance earlier on. Thank you very much for the opportunity and honorable members for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Soma. Can I get other? Okay. Uh, Honorable Komani, can I invite you in? Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Good morning, colleagues and uh, the staff members. Uh, Chairperson, uh, we, we would like to make contribution to the bill as uh, presented by Honorable Kruger. We therefore uh, have received the submissions, the oral submissions, and uh, those of the supporting members to the bill. We as the EFF has gone through the bill and had gone through both submissions and have observed that the bill seeks to, uh, to get a buy-in of other political parties. Chair, in our view, we have observed that the bill has not totally been to this committee, uh, it should have not uh, been brought to this committee. It should have rather been uh, sent to the uh, portfolio committee of small business. We therefore chair found that, uh, we also found that the bill uh, chair has caused a duplication 
because there are roles uh, uh, that are, are being uh, expected from the presidency. Chair, we also note that the bill will encourage the marginalization, particularly of the blacks, uh, 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 the black poor, uh, uh, as um, that took uh, the. Uh, that is meant to assist uh, by guiding uh, 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 the business. Equally, Chair, we, we observed that uh, this bill is aimed at reducing, if not wanting to marginalize the participation of government uh, 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 into uh, making its oversight and monitoring. Chair, this bill also it, it, it is aiming at doing away with the regulations like employment equity. Uh, when now business are indirect, uh, or they will indirectly be, uh, do, uh, uh, they will be indirectly privatized. And uh, 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 in, in that way, Chair, we as the EFF, we have noted that uh, we, we, we are striving to fight unemployment. And that bill, Chair, uh, if we uh, we continue and 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 provide support to this bill, it would then uh, be perceived as if we 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 don't take the, the 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 poor people, particularly the blacks, into consideration. Because by privatization, chair, it will mean those that have got capacity would then undermine those that do not have. Chairperson, uh, we, we, we have noted all, all uh, the submissions and we are of a view that as the EFF, we will reserve our right on this, on this bill and we're not going to either uh, 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 support or reject it. We, we, we are reserving our right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Komani. Can I invite Honorable Ntuli? Um, thank you, Chair. Um, Chairperson, um, indeed, uh, Chair, what has been alluded to by the previous speakers, starting from Honorable Lesoma to Honorable Goman, this bill is more relevant to small business. And also, Chairperson, it is a duplication of the work in progress, particularly by Ria Sears, as mentioned by Honorable Soma, and also TDI and um, Chem, safe to say, um, DPME is on top of uh, the pressure that is put on. Um, small business or developing a business, particularly on the case of payment, which um, previously used to suppress and kill them. Uh, for the payments that were not done in time. Um, uh, Chair, maybe, maybe Chair, we should, I should follow suit to my colleagues in appreciating and commending um, uh, Mr. Kruger, in the willingness to assist government. 
um, in this regard. But noting Jefferson and the meeting that uh, the work that he didn't see um, as progressive enough, it is in progress. And really, I also want to touch to what Honorable Soma touched uh, in saying, uh, we note that uh, it's not for the first time that this bill is tabled. It was tabled uh, uh, in the fifth parliament and rejected. And for me, I don't think it was just rejected. It was the way of saying thank you for noting this, we are on top of it. Uh, it was just to emphasize on what my um, colleagues have already alluded to uh, in terms uh, of this bill. And I would love to second uh, Honorable Lusoma to say, I think as this uh, portfolio committee, it's high time that uh, on this date, uh, we put the full stop on this bill. We put this bill on, on the end and declare it not uh, moving forward and hoping that that will not cause any animosity because the work that has been mentioned in this bill is already in progress. Um, Mr. Kruger and the supporters of the bill will have nothing to lose. Instead, they are going to monitor further on what is happening uh, in so far as a uh, government is concerned uh, with the work that they were sort of looking at. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Your Honorable Malati coming. Um, good morning, colleagues um, and House Chair. Um, look, I, I think there are two key issues here. One is the fact that, and I hear two members that made reference to the fact that the committees, um, the bill is being presented to this committee. And the response to that is that that should not delegitimize the substance of the bill and what is being proposed by the bill. And I think um, in all fairness, we need to be engaging with the substance of the bill. And secondly, to the argument that I see is running through that um, there could be duplication of some sorts. Um, in all fairness and all evidence that you know, is before us, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, the reality is that, you know, there is massive institutional red tape that is hampering the prosperity of small businesses and to a large extent, even big business, um, particularly from doing business with the state. So what we should be focusing at is how do we find legislative means of making sure that we reduce the red tape, we create an environment in which small businesses can thrive and operate you know, freely um, so that we remove all the obstacles that are in the way in order to enable them to, to, to function properly. And I do not for once think that simply because the fifth parliament came to a conclusion about this bill that 
you know, we should then outsource our responsibility as a committee in engaging this to what happened um, in a different committee in a different parliament. I think what is before us should be dealt with um, given what it is. And the reality is even the substance is different from what was presented in, in, in the fifth parliament. So taking all of that into, in, into consideration, Chair, I think you know, we, we shouldn't rush to um, cutting short the lifespan of this bill um, in this committee simply because we just want to get um, to get it over and done with. I think we should um, interrogate it um, further and that we should, as a committee, satisfy ourselves um, that what is being presented here has the potential to make a substantial difference in the lifespan of, of small businesses. And this should be our, our approach. And I think lastly, Chair, from, from my side, because I, I don't want to be long for the sake of filibustering, is that the, 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 the essence of the bill for me is what is important. And how do we as a committee then find ways of ensuring ensuring that what is proposed as the essence of this uh, of this bill comes into life because this is not about how you know um, our respective political parties feel about the ideological purpose of, of this bill but ultimately about the impact that the changes or the new measures that are proposed in this bill, which as we know, are the lifeblood of the economy, uh, particularly during um, these difficult times that our economy is in and that it will continue to be in. And, and you know, this whole argument about, about duplication, you know, worries me because if indeed, you know, the, 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 the current unit that has been referred to by um, different um, honorable members that is in the, in, the, in the presidency was as effective as it suddenly seems to appear in some members' memories, then why is it that you know, we still continue to get these testimonies of massive red, shade, uh, massive red tape pulling down um, small businesses? And, and, and the reality is that we, as a committee in order to fulfill our responsibilities, we need to be finding solutions. You know, we, we need to be at the forefront of finding solutions that will help small businesses. Um, otherwise, you know, we, we, we shouldn't be rushing into um, simply putting an end to, 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 to this bill um, simply because it challenges our ideological foundation. You know, and 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 I truly appreciate the manner in which you know different colleagues have have shared, you know, what they um, deem to be their party's views. And but I think over and above that, we, we we shouldn't forget the essence of what it is. And in addition, Che, if you also look at some of the external organizations that came um, to present, you know, in, 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 in support of the proposals as covered in this bill. We received no objection whatsoever from, from external um, organizations or entities about, you know, the undesirability of, of the bill. So I think it would be, it would be, <coughs> excuse me, it, it, it would be too hasty um, for us to get to a decision that seeks to, you know, um, end the lifespan of, of, of this bill here. And, you know, um, I will let my colleague Joe McClure speak on, you know, the proposals that we have about the way forward uh, on this. Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Malatsi. Can I invite Honorable Musi? Thank you very much, Honorable Chairperson. I'm an I am unable to view my video due to circumstances that I'm in. Please pardon me for that. Am I audible, Honorable Chair? I can hear you loud and clear, Honorable Musiba. Okay, thank you so much, Chair. Uh, thank you, Chair. I would also like to add the challenge and the rejection of the bill 
as a result that social and economic impact assessment are normally the key components of the broader environment impact assessment requirements, often performed at the project approval stage. Economic impact assessment plays an important role in determining the overall worthiness of a project um, and also analyzes include reporting output, employment, income and value added at the project and state national levels. And it usually follows the mainstream framework of the economic thought where more project, more development typically are seen as the desirable in order to increase economic growth with economic growth being the goal of the development. And it, it does not take into account other goals of economic development, such as quality of life or sustainability. There are issues with this approach because not all developments are even with positive economic impacts will result in a sustainable development for the, econo for the community, for the region, and also for the country. So these are the, uh, the nature of some issues that will not allow us to, to side with this bill, but to reject it. Thank you so much, Honorable Chairperson. 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 Thank you, Honorable Mutipe. Okay. Chairperson. Uh, can I now invite Honorable uh, McGlure? Yeah, thank you so much, Chair, for the opportunity. Firstly, I would like to speak to uh, the process on how this uh, committee uh, of parliament has dealt with this bill. It is either the research unit, but someone must take responsibility because someone has failed this portfolio committee. We have entertained this bill. And surprisingly so, members are coming now from all corners and cry foul that this bill does not belong to this platform. Members are crying foul that this bill should have been taken to this committee and that committee. Even so much so that we speak about the presidency. I want to put it on record that the presidency itself is in ICU. The presidency itself does not have a portfolio committee to start with, with and also a committee to have oversight on itself. When this came in front of us, we were humbly requested as a committee for the ANC to go back to their caucus and then to come here and decide the way forward. Now it seems that this, and I want to say it seems that there is now some sort of politicking with a bill that is now presented in front of us. The, the, the honorable members who are speaking against this bill, not once, no one has mentioned any presentation that has been made by organizations in front of us. We have received uh, 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 presentations by the Small Business Institute, who also said that, you know, this bill is achieving the, the, the aspirations of, 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 of the presidency. There were a, 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 an organization in front of us saying that for 10 years now, for 10 years, the objective of easing uh, 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 business for, 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 for small business uh, seems to be achieved and it is, it is addressed in the bill that has been uh, uh, presented to us. There were business organizations representing some uh, uh, more than 12,000 uh, uh, members. It says this is a good idea. We had a free market foundation that says that is a, it is a good idea. And it is members, the same members who are speaking now to reject this bill, it is members that also said that this is something good. And there were also organizations that has been funded by the AU. 
uh, that, 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 that is uh, been funded by the uh, AU and, 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 and to assist the Department of Small Business uh, 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 Development within South Africa, that they believe the implementation of this bill will assist government. It will assist SMMEs. So I am really taken off by, by the way we have, we have dealt with this bill. It seems that, 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 that to a greater extent, we were dragging our feet and, and, and play uh, 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 politics. I have mentioned it. This bill could not come at a better time uh, uh, during the COVID-19 crisis. And it is about small business. We are going uh, every now and then to various uh, uh, levels as far as lockdown is concerned, con concern, to an extent now, while we are speaking and politicking about a bill, there are small businesses, there are places that is closed today because of COVID-19. And now we are sitting with a bill and people are coming to say to this committee, it doesn't belong here, no, let's reject this. And we are not taking out the good from this bill. Safe to say that during all of these submissions, uh, 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 no other submission was, was, uh, 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 was received by parliament itself. So... What I would suggest, uh, 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 Chairperson, uh, instead of uh, being in a hurry to say it doesn't belong here, reject this, let us have the right procedure to this member's bill. It's called the member's bill. And to various extents and to various occasions, the member who presented this bill was called by his name and Mr. So-and-so and not Honorable Andrew, Andrew Creer. And, and uh, uh, so I would like to suggest that, that, that we go into this, that the, the members of this portfolio committee uh, be also be given an opportunity to present a minority bill as far as the undesirability of this bill is now concerned. Let us uh, uh, also have the research unit to say, this is the right procedure. Let us have this bill at this platform and tell uh, uh, deal with this bill in the appropriate way, in an appropriate manner, in an appropriate fashion. When the presentations was made, it was made clear how this bill will assist in, ease, in, in, easing, in easing business. We also in this very same committee has requested the present, presidency who was present at the time at that meeting to respond to questions on what they have done as far as the execution of this bill is to, to SMMEs, which was not to the satisfaction of uh, this uh, 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 committee or to members of this committee. So I would, I would ask your indulgence, Chairperson, that we are not hasten this in terms of shooting it or, uh, 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 off uh, uh, as so politely uh, uh, presented by Honorable uh, 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 Lisoma. Let us uh, 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 give an opportunity for, for, for members who are uh, 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 those who want to uh, make a representation on, 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 on a minority view and also let us then uh, have a, a direct uh, 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 direction to say, listen, we have looked positively into this and members of the ANC have said that it's a good thing. Let us then have it at the right platform. How can we then shoot a good thing off and say, no, it doesn't belong here. Let's reject it and all of this. Let us guide this bill and take it to the right direction where it belongs to them. Thank you, Chair. Uh, honor thank you, Honorable, Honorable Soma. Chairperson. Honorable Chair, if I, if I may just stand down for now and allow to Honorable Tabekula, I think he's got cool. a problem with his budget in terms of raising his hand. I'll come after him. If you allow, Chair. okay, okay, that's that's fine. I can hear uh, Honorable Tabekulu's voice. Honorable Tabekulu, can you take the platform? Thank you, thank you, Chairperson. Greetings to you and our members. Uh, Chairperson, I think I must uh, come forth to say, as a party, IFP, we did not meet uh, and deliberate on the bill, so no contribution has come forth uh, from the IFP. I must state that chairperson, but I, I need to point out uh, a, a few things. Uh, it was clear uh, uh, in my own understanding, it was clear from onset that uh, the bill was tabled by all member 
and, and those frustrated by the way government departments uh, is failing small business and SMMEs and paying uh, them timelessly when they do business with the state. This is what I wanted just to point out to a person. You know, this uh, uh, comes uh, to mind that uh, there was a, 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 a commitment that um, government will make sure that uh, 40,000 uh, 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 um, small business uh, will be uh, uh, sort of uh, assisted year in and year, in and year out. So year by year, they, they'll get assisted. But unfortunately, this has not uh, been seen uh, as was promised. So the, 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 the view then, as, as far as I could understand, comes from that uh, angle to say, you know, we've been uh, expecting this. It was stated, stated in, in the National Development Plan that uh, these things will be happening, but only to find that they do not. Some members are, are putting it in a better English of, of those, uh, what are called, red tapes uh, in, in, in dealing with business. And on, in each and every state of the national address, this has been raised that uh, government, the, the, uh, government will make sure that uh, it, 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 it makes it possible that uh, we develop, uh, uh, each year we develop 40,000 or odd of, 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 of this small business so that they, they could create more jobs for or the needy uh, 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 workforce out there. Because obviously, we have a, a lot of un, 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 unemployment in, in our country. For this country to, to be uh, emancipated from, from that uh, challenge, uh, small business should be uh, uh, sort of uh, assisted to, to come up so that uh, we make sure that uh, we don't have a, a, a situation where we go as far as above 30% uh, uh, unemployment in, in our country. This is Jefferson, what I just wanted just to, to state. Uh, but I, I hope uh, because of the common com commitments that we, we, we are having uh, as a party, we couldn't uh, have time to, to sit and deliberate on, 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 the, on the bill. But as members are just pointing, pointing out, if, if it then it comes up again, one might might be in a position to, to table it before the, the party and deliberate on, deliberate on it, uh, Chairperson. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Zabekolo. Can I invite Honorable Soma and then Honorable Gondwe after Honorable Soma? Thank you very much, Honorable Chair, for your patience with me. I, I really appreciate that. Chair, <laughs> You know, one will get tempted. Let me just deal with it. Uh, that uh, you know what? It's a little bit disappointing and and and, and uh, uh, just dampen the, the the energy that one has. Is that are we as this committee try to say that we are now going to take responsibilities of other committees? Because if we, we, we do that, uh, uh, and uh, I will have a serious problem. But also, I think what we must do, because also we oversight on DPME and DPSA, that deals with the systems. Uh, that we, 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 we must guide against and respect the, the, the uh, jurisdiction of other portfolio committees in parliament and avoid encroaching in their mandate, uh, unless we want to re-engineer indirectly the, 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 pol the portfolio committee's mandate, uh, which then get, there is another process. I don't think we are mandated to do that exercise here by backdoor, if I may use that word. And I hope I'm not offending anyone. But Chair, I, I just wanted to raise a few issues of emphasis, but uh, which I didn't raise earlier on that. Honorable Kruger's bill, uh, it, it ninety nine percent, by the way, honourable members. It talks to small business and all of us who are repeating that. And why do we want to encroach on others' uh, portfolio committee's responsibility? And also, why do we seek to suggest that it's our responsibility to direct this bill to small business? Because the member, honourable member and all other honorable members, we know what the right thing to do in terms of if you want to direct the bill to the proper committee. 
But we did state, Chair, earlier on that uh, why we engage to the bill, because it was directed to us by the Speaker's office through the bill's office. However, we cannot, and I don't think it's our intention to encroach on other uh, port or, or portfolio committee's mandate, as it were, unless there is a compelling reasons. But ours also, as we monitor and evaluate and also assist ways it's necessary by calling those departments that we think that they're not doing what they're supposed to do, is to, we, we, we call them. I.e., for example, the point that uh, I, I like that uh, Honorable Uba Undabezi took the recognition, which is one of our program that we said is one of our priority activities. It's uh, making sure that those departments that don't pay uh, service providers within 30 days, we, 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 we monitor them and also we call them to account. And probably it's one of the things moving forward, we must just see how do we accommodate that cry that Uba which is part of our responsibility, by the way. But also, Chair, uh, I, I would like to say that uh, uh, the research unit, if we would have observed the attachment that through Mascola we receive, they did the, the, some work uh, at the, at, I think it was at the second meeting where they distributed, which I assumed all of us, we, we went through it even now this week for the purpose of today's meeting. They did, they did a very uh, good work, even a research that they did in terms of comparing us also with Australia. But nevertheless, Australia and South Africa, they've got distinct uh, characteristics uh, informed by the material conditions of, of, of that country. So, but I, I, I'm saying that I, I don't think there's any other need unless we are suggesting that, which we did try, Chair, while we were off sick to say, the research unit, if they have produced some work, they must present it. Uh, and I'm not suggesting they must do it now because uh, 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 there they, they, they is no need, but I, I'm stating the point that they did the work and unless, uh, unless then uh, uh, honorable members can write to the small business research unit to do that because we are not oversighting small business uh, 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 department here. Uh, that leecher. Uh, fourthly, it would be wrong for us to keep quiet when uh, knowing very well the, the rules of parliament and uh, how do we engage with the presidency. The president comes to parliament in Q and A's questions and answers. And if members, they feel that uh, there is more that needs to be done there, uh, they, 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 they are at liberty also to, to submit written, uh, uh, written uh, uh, writ, uh, questions for written responses, as it were. And now, we, I, I don't think, it, it, for me, it, 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 it gives me logic why now we say that president doesn't account to any committee, it accounts directly to parliament. If then we, we feel that the day, the, 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 the frequency of, 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 of the president accounting to parliament it's not enough, but unfortunately, last year we did review the, the, the frequency in, in, in the rules committee, the rules committee, and the house adopted that. Probably we must wait those ones who feel so for 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 for, for next year to do that if if need arises and engage various uh, uh, powers may be in terms of the rules to be to be uh, to be to be amended. To say that, but we can't say that the president, because the president doesn't uh, come to any committee, as if we don't know we where the president, as the president, as the one body, but also the office, other than the the departments that are housed in the presidents that have got a, a direct principal uh, oversighting portfolio committees. Uh, and I will chair so that uh, honourable members they don't also misquote me. Uh, in all my presentation. I've been referring to Honorable Kruger as Honorable Kruger, or the sponsor of the bill. But uh, probably then, uh, because we're hasty to say whatever we want to say, and we're very impatient with each other, then we didn't listen to that. And uh, others to call a minister also, there's nothing uh, uh, untowards about that, if a member has forgotten the same name of the Honorable Member. But the very last point, Chair, is that it would be unfortunate when we're dealing with such issues as Honorable Komane have just 
pick up a sector that is totally in terms of the business, which is a private a, 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 a private business as it, as it were, because business is business and then there's a private sector a, a space as, as it were. For government is to regulate and monitor and guide when it arises. Is that uh, 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 we are saying that uh, the bill is about politics. It's got nothing to do with the politics. It's about respecting the areas of responsibilities as various committees. Secondly, is the duplication and wastefulness financially and uh, materially that this, the bill seeks to suggest, but also undermines other uh, other uh, uh, other existing departments or units that are already there. And it causes a lot of unfinancial duplication and wastage, which this committee, by the way, Chair, we have been kicking and screaming to say that the wage bill of the public sector, it needs to be, to be managed. And we cannot then, when it suits us, speaks on both sides of our mouths. I rest my, 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 my case, Chair. I, I, I re also then, I, I know Honorable uh, Mantudi has seconded the, the, the motion that I put before the committee to say that the committee rejects the, the, the bill. We are not rushing anywhere, but why do we delay something that we are clear that legally speaking and otherwise uh, for us, it, it doesn't make any logical sense that we must carry on with it. If it needs to be, members are at liberty to do to to do to come up with their own bills. But I, I would suggest that we focus in, at our main mandate as this committee and deal with those things that we have not been doing. Uh, probably we have been doing them, but not consistently. And focus on those things and call departments that we we think that they are not in compliance in terms of the Financial Management Act and the other re, uh, regulations that they are supposed to observe because we are, we are such an important committee than taking other committees responsibilities. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Honorable Gondwe. Thank you very much, Chairperson. Um, Chairperson, I will not be long, uh, but I just want to emphasize um, um, a couple of things. I do not necessarily hold the view that the, you know, the establishment of this RI RIA unit in the office of the presidency um, will be a duplication of the existing CS unit, or that this unit will encroach upon the mandates of the departments of small business and trade and industry. Um, because if these departments were really doing something, then I don't think Honorable Kruger would have um, initiated this bill. CS does not sufficiently address the impact of red tape. And there's no evidence to suggest that since its establishment, um, you know, CS has had a significant impact on the reduction of red tape. Um, we've received submissions from the Free Market Foundation. The Free Market, Market Foundation pointed out that, you know, um, our economy is currently over-regulated and government's profit promises and assurances to reduce red tape have not amounted to much. And our economic, our economy is currently taking a heavy strain um, under the weight of the pandemic. And um, the foundation also said the rule of law is not being observed in the promulgation of legislation. And it hopes that this bill will go a long way towards in, uh, resolving this issue and compelling government to consider the impact and subsequent consequences of its policies. The foundation also indicated that it doubts that most pieces of legislation have impact assessments accompanying them. And the case in point is the amendment of section 25 of the constitution. Um, it's only um, recently that the DA called that an impact assessment be done on, 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 on the proposed amendment. Um, and the foundation also points out even where impact assessments are carried out, they are defective and partial in favor of policy and are unbalanced in favor of the advocates of the policy and not honest in relation to the intended consequences. The Small Business Institute also indicated its support for this bill. And, also indicated that it preferred um, RIA to CS because RIA um, as a tool emphasizes stakeholder engagement early on um, you know, in the legislation and regulation making process. And um, you know, RIA also um, measures um, you, know, uh, um, um, you know, the impact of legislation um, against priorities such as employment, economic growth, transformation and competitiveness which are all factors that support a conducive and enabling uh, business environment. 
Sakaliga also indicated that it, it, it welcomes any initiative that is aimed at overcoming the burden of red tape and lessening some of the unnecessary encumbrances placed on South African businesses. I think the point I'm trying to make is that we've received support um, from these credible organizations um, um, in relation to the bill. We've not received any objections or any other submissions in relation to the bill. And so the emphasis should be on the substance of the bill as Honorable Malati has indicated, and not necessarily around um, whatever processes or where it should be going, but on the substance of the bill and, and the fact that it will go a long way towards um, easing, um, you know, some of the, the, the burdens that small business and medium businesses are currently experiencing because of, of, of policies. Policies that, um, honestly speaking, um, are not helping, but just adding to, to, you know, to the burden and, and to the red tape that is currently there. So um, yeah, that is my, 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 my contribution. And I don't think that this bill is undesirable. And uh, really, um, the substance is, is what we should really be looking at in the systems. Thank you so much. Right, Honorable Kibi, and then uh, Honorable Ntuli, Honorable Komani, in that order. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, I think I'm well covered by a the honorable members, especially your honorable um, Lisoma, because uh, she read my mind. But what I'm trying to say here, honorable chair, is that uh, we gave this bill uh, enough time. I think we made justice to say we even give, gave honorable Kruger a chance to come and do the presentation from the people that they are or some organizations that are in support of the bill. What we are saying, uh, we are now trying to waste time or wasting time for Honorable Kuka, where he could have taken the bill to where it's supposed to be. For us now to say this is the end of the road for us, is this a, a, a portfolio committee on this bill? Does not say that we don't, we are not, uh, going to, 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 we are not suggesting anything where it's supposed to be. Let it go there so that it can maybe make a baby, be taken a much forward and be supported. But with us here, we've given enough time. And we are saying, I think we all remember that uh, when we were uh, invited, when we invited other departments from the presidency, Whatever that uh, th is on the on the bill of Honorable Kruger is, is something that is being done by the other departments over there. So when we are saying it is a duplication, it is really a duplication of what is really being done now, trying to address the challenges that we see in these uh, uh, departments in, in terms of late payments and all other the red tips and everything. So now uh, we, we are also supporting the fact that let's call this a, a, a bill of Honorable Kruger now to an end here, and he can go to where the, 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 the bill is supposed to be, which is the small business, and then it will, it, it, it will be entertained there and it will be moving forward uh, with the people that are obviously in support of the bill because he really has a number of people that are supporting it. But this uh, portfolio committee is now saying this is now up and up to where we have gone with the bill. And for us, it is enough now. Let's uh, uh, stop it here. The park stops here. So I support that now we don't move forward. Let we, as this committee, will reject it and say, move forward to other uh, committees. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Honorable Komani coming. Honorable Ntuli, yes, you will follow on Honorable Komani. Thank you very much, Chair. Once more. Chair, let me speak to, to the statement that was raised by uh, Honorable Metlaw. I am the one who said, who, who, who called 
Honorable Kruger Mester. And I'm not apologizing because that is, there's nothing wrong in me saying uh, Honorable Kruger, uh, calling Honorable Kruger Mester Kruger. Chair, uh, 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 again, Chair, uh, we cannot chair, be forced to, 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 to agree or to dig deeper into the bill by virtue of having people who supported the bill. Yes, I agree. There were members who, who, sub, who submitted, uh, who made su uh, oral submissions in support of the bill. But Chair, we must as well not forget our mandate as this committee. We cannot by virtue of having support to the bill, then say the, 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 the bill is, is best positioned or the, uh, where it, uh, uh, this, uh, the, this committee can therefore uh, uh, deliberate on this, or, 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 or on this bill. Having said that, Chair, I still maintain that as the EFF, we, uh, we, we, we are going to exercise our democratic right to abstain. N uh, having said that, Chair, uh, this bill, Chair, I say, I'm saying it again, it is better po uh, positioned at the small medium uh, 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 at the uh, with the portfolio committee of, 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 of small businesses. And Chair, as this committee, we cannot as well want to, 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 to debate or to, to, to present bills by virtue of us not executing our duties to the fullest. Chair, uh, one, uh, one, one, one colleague here mentioned, made mention of the fact that there are some businesses that are still not being paid within the 30 days. It is within our mandate as this committee to take that up with the relevant uh, 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 department. But Chair, that does not mean the, 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 the introduction of the bill would then uh, 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 handle uh, the, the matter that uh, the, some 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 uh, businesses are not paid within their, their scheduled time. We've got we've got um, the, the the departments that we need to take on board in 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 case the, uh, some businesses are not paid in time. We've got uh, uh, consequence management that needs to be introduced and uh, not introduced that needs to be uh, 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 executed because they are in introduced they are in place so why then say we want to to, to introduce this bill by virtue of ha ha having a, 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 a business that are not being paid in time so chair uh, lastly i'm saying chair for the last time we cannot we cannot say I'm, I'm i'm saying this constant we cannot be pulled by leg to discuss the bill which is not within our mandate I therefore say, Chair, this bill is not meant for this committee. It accidentally was uh, uh, brought here. And we cannot then just say uh, it is there, it, it is here. We, we, know, we, we did deliberate on it. But equally, Chair, it is not for this committee to decide on this, on, 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 on this bill. Otherwise, we would be taking the mandate of the small business. Noted you, uh, Honorable Juli. I said it will be you after that. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Chairperson. Uh, Chair, I wanted just to do to do the, the follow-up on the emphasis of this committee having had the the time, all the time to 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 to, to listen and deliberate on this bill. The bill which was rejected in the fifth parliament, by the way. Um, and, and it must be clear, Jefferson, that um, the rejection of this bill is not due to that uh, issue. The bill. It's simple, Chair. This bill is a duplication of the work 
of uh, other departments and other uh, units that we've mentioned earlier on. For me, Chaperson, and the meeting, this portfolio committee really well, was very kind. Um, we've done everything. We've listened even to the supporters of the bill. And we've given a honorable Kruger time. We invited um, the presidency to come and, 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 and present. Obviously, it was clear on the first day that uh, it is a duplication, but it didn't end there. We open arms to everyone to contribute. Chair, I want to put the emphasis that uh, indeed the, 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 the bill can change the color and come in 2021 in the sixth parliament. But it's the same. Chair, without going clause by clause, it is a duplication. And we did highlight even during tabling of presentations. But it's fine, it's good that everybody was given ample time to look at all angles of the bill and satisfy himself or herself about the bill. And, and all the parties, I believe all the parties really can see what we are talking about. And I want us to take out the politicizing part. No one is politicizing this bill. No, no one at all. Members of this portfolio committee were contributing wholeheartedly as part of the work that has been done by this committee. And I think I even made mention earlier on Chaperson when I was contributing to say DPME is on top of some of the things that are seen as red tapes of the payments of service uh, providers within 30 days, and they kept on saying their push is for the service providers to be, to be paid within seven days. That's a, that's a good thing to do. And we, we all know that it's, it's one of the silent killer that has been killing the small businesses, particularly black people who were doing a business with government for the first time and expecting to get a paid in time so that they can move on. And then when they were not paid in time, they were just be killed uh, once and for all. So, 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 so it's work in progress. And, and, and uh, safe to say, Chair, in the meeting, um, they, 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 they are, there are no politics that are being played here. It's the honest fact. Uh, we can't duplicate the work uh, 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 as this portfolio committee. We can't allow the duplication of work as this portfolio committee. And it's not for us to say where it can go. Hence, it was brought to, uh, to us, we've deliberated on it. And I think if uh, Honorable Kruger and, and, and the supporters of the bill wish to take it further, they can even uh, submit it to another portfolio committee of which they feel that uh, 
it can do better than us. Thank you very much, Chair. Honorable Malati. Um, thanks, Chair Peston. Look, I, I I think we we are at a stage where in you know we seem to have a deadlock, and no matter how much time we have. We, we, we seemingly are going to be at a deadlock given the strong you know, positions that um, those in favor and those against um, the, the desirability of the bill are. So I think in the interest of constructive progress, Chair, um, it is key to revert to what Honorable McClure um, proposed in, 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 in his remarks regarding you know, the, the minority report. And I think that will, you know, cover the, the resolution to the deadlock that we find ourselves in, because it, it appears to me that we are now at a stage where we, 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 we refuse to be persuaded by, you know, the substance of, of, of the bill and its proposals. So therefore, perhaps the solution in there is to do what is, you know, permissible to us within um, parliamentary rules in that, you know, we, we, we opened the door for Honorable McClure um, in tabling the minority report and that we have constructive progress on this because we are going to run around in circles defending our individual positions without having progress on this matter. Thanks, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Malati. <clears throat> let, let me speak at the end now. My understanding of what arguments for and against do not shoot the bill, particularly those who spoke from the ANC, if I understood them clearly. They say this bill does not belong to this portfolio committee. Therefore, it must be taken to the relevant portfolio committee because this com portfolio committee cannot do the work of other political, I mean, uh, other portfolio committees. Therefore, I do buy that view. And I give Mr. Kruger, uh, Honorable Kruger, an advice to take this bill to the small development portfolio committee, small business development portfolio committee. In that way, we are not shooting the bill, but we are channeling it to a relevant portfolio committee. And that is the right thing to do. That's my conclusion, honorable members. Honorable Kruger, please take this bill to a committee that is mandated to deal with this in terms of the work of parliament. That committee is small business development. I don't understand this as a recession if we, if we, we put it that way. Therefore, honorable members, thank you very much for your, you have taken longer than I thought we would take, but uh, we have now come to the end of the meeting. Yeah, honorable Kruger must take this bill yeah, to the relevant portfolio committee. Chair. Yeah. Who's that? It's Joe McGlua, Chair. May I have an opportunity? I don't think you can have an opportunity after the chairperson has outlined the, the way forward. No, I just want Therefore, you to register, the, the, Chair, I just want no, you to register the DAs dis disagree with, with uh, the way we've dealt with it and also with the decision that you have taken. Yeah, but it is not going to change the way that this bill will have to, to be channeled to. Honorable Kruger, take this bill to a relevant portfolio committee. We are not going to do the work of other portfolio committee as this committee. 
Thank you very much, honorable members. The meeting is now adjourned.